In this video, I will shortly explain our licensing policy. So in all Mikrotik uh, devices, there is uh, a router OS license uh, pre-installed already. And the license lasts forever. You don't have to extend it. There is no subscription model. Um, this applies to router OS. Of course, we also have other products, but I'm talking about router OS, uh, routers, Wi-Fi devices, anything that runs router OS. So in the product specifications, if you look at our web page, let's go to micropic.com. We go to hardware and open up some HAP AX, for example. If you scroll down, you will see router OS license 4. So what does it mean? Uh, well, we have several license levels. So if you destroy the license, it counts as level 0. It means no license. Uh, and uh, it runs in trial mode. Uh, but um, these license numbers, we actually have uh, explained it in the documentation. If you go to getting started, the router OS license keys, you see that we have, so trial mode level zero, then we have a demo license, that's mostly for x86 PCs, uh, and in our devices we have levels 3, 4, 5, and 6. So as the table explains here, we have um, limitations for a number of tunnels that you can uh, simultaneously run in your device. Um, but uh, what is probably more important is the uh, Wi-Fi capability. So you can see that wireless AP mode is uh, here in the first line and level 3 says no. But um, what does it actually mean? So if you uh, look at the products uh, like our CPE models, let's say SXT, that is, uh, for example, this one, uh, you will see license level 3. Um, what it means uh, is that this device was uh, designed to work as a CPE, as a wireless client device. So it can connect to uh, a Wi-Fi access point. But actually, it also can serve as a Wi-Fi access point too, but only for a single client. So it means you can uh, use these devices if you buy two of them. One of them can be running in Wi-Fi station mode. So the Wi-Fi client, and the other one can be a Wi-Fi access point for a single device. In router OS, we call this a Wi-Fi bridge mode. So in the Wi-Fi settings, you will change it to mode bridge, and it will allow a single device to connect. So in some ways, it can be a Wi-Fi access point, but only for one uh, Wi-Fi client uh, at a time. So what else uh, should I mention is that uh, if your device, if you have purchased one of these SXT units and you suddenly de decide that you need two devices, uh, you could, uh, two devices uh, to connect to it, uh, and you want to run it as a conventional access point, so which supports multiple clients, uh, you can buy a Mikrotik uh, level 4 license the uh, for 45 US dollars but normally and in most cases it, it costs the same to just get a SA model so we have for example SXT SA5 so uh, with a similar or even smaller price difference you can get a device that has a level 4 license so it means it allows any number of Wi-Fi clients and it actually also has a sector type antenna because if you if you were to buy a CPE device it usually has a very narrow uh, narrow antenna so multiple devices uh, unless they're right next to each other will not uh, will not work so well when connecting to such an antenna so so to summarize if your device if your wi-fi station device came with a level 3 device uh, it was designed to work as a client if you like, you can upgrade to support more clients, but my personal suggestion is to simply look for the SA model and purchase a similar looking device with a very small price difference, but it will not only have the Wi-Fi access point license level four, it will also have a more suitable antenna for this type of scenario. Um, the other limitations uh, are rarely taking effect because uh, well, you see that um, the other limitations have to do with number of active tunnels. So I guess um, not a lot of uh, people actually care about those limitations. So 
uh, I think that the Wi-Fi uh, mode is the biggest difference between our devices when it comes to license. Okay, I hope this explains it to you. Thanks and see you in the next video.